Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you really quick about getting the lights working inside of your vintage Western Electric Princess phone. The authentic old ones had an incandescent light bulb inside and they were not line powered. So you'd have to have a separate power supply to actually get it going. If you have one of the single line versions, it'll just have a four conductor cord this one was cut and hacked by someone else. I just got this off eBay. Uh, basically, the yellow and black wires, you would connect to power supply, and then the red and green would go to your phone cord. And these, uh, this one's actually from 1960, so it does not have a ringer. Here's one from around 1973, and you can see it has the ringer here. So this one's a bit more spacious. Uh, additionally, later versions use different light bulbs. This one actually is a screw type. Here's what I mean about the different light bulbs. Here's the one from 1960, and here's one that came out of a 1974 princess phone with touch tone dialing. This one, as you can see, has a slip in bulb that basically it just is held in by these contacts. You can still get these bulbs at like Ace Hardware and Home Depot as landscape light fixture bulbs. This one though, I'm not 100% sure where you could find a replacement sort of 10 volt incandescent screw bulb. I'm sure it's possible. So here's the bottom of the Princess phone and pretty much any Princess phone that has an incandescent light will have this little screw hatch on the bottom because the light bulb is actually connected to it and so you just simply would insert it and then you can use a coin to go and turn the light bulb right now I have night light mode on so there you can see it dimly lit and now you can go ahead and turn your phone over if you're having problems with the light bulb intermittently coming on and you know that the filament is good, then you might want to try the contacts because the little bayonet uh, contacts on these, they are these little copper contacts, the little wings you see. And so those scrape contacts that are on the inside of the phone and mine, I actually bent them down a bit because they weren't making good contact and also the metals can get corroded over time. So you can also apply a bit of Vaseline or cleaning oil or rubbing alcohol uh, to the metal and that'll help to just give it a good surface to make contact with. And there you can see now it's glowing. Here's a quick bit on the power supplies. This is one of the original type Princess phone power supplies. You can still sort of find these on eBay and stuff. They're not extremely rare. Uh, you can see this is six to eight volts AC. And so this is just a coil winding on the inside from the power prongs to the output. And with older phones, they actually have horseshoe connections. So you can just sort of loosen these and screw them in, assuming that nobody has tampered or cut the wires. Or you can also use something more modern like this if you have one laying around. This is one I got from a garage sale. Um, this is like a 9 volt DC power supply. Uh, as long as you don't go pretty much over 11 volts, um, the higher power adapter that you use, the faster you'll burn out your bulb. So if you have the hand set raised and the bulb is on full brightness, the higher power rating your adapter is, the bulb will burn hotter and it'll make the filament go out faster. So if you care about your filament, you could get a lower power and lower wattage adapter and you would uh, make it last a lot longer. You could also put a resistor in between the actual power connections for the phone and the adapter but that's just a bit of advice 
I haven't burned out any bulbs, but it can happen faster. So hopefully just troubleshooting light bulbs and your power supply connections should be good enough. If for some reason connecting onto yellow and black wires for your line cord doesn't work, or just trying to fiddle with the light bulb and the connecting plates here doesn't solve your problem, then you might have a wiring issue. So you want to make sure that your yellow and black wires somehow get from the power supply and then actually you're powering your light bulb. Terminal 3 right here goes directly to the bulb. So this plate should be connected directly to one of the power wires. Then on mine, terminal 4 is the other power. So your two yellow and black wires should go here. And you can see there's a slate red wire and blue. Blue is a hook switch wire and orange is the output for that. So basically when you lift the handset, it connects orange and blue together and basically brings power directly from here to this other plate, therefore illuminating the bulb. If you have the nightlight switch mode turned on, it basically bridges power from the slate red wire to this green wire on this side of the resistor. And then basically the power goes through the resistor then to the same plate and powers the bulb, but dimmer because it's going through the resistor. So hopefully that should explain if your lighting circuit isn't going correctly. If uh, the wiring looks okay on the inside, then you want to also check the switch and potentially squirt some oil or rubbing alcohol in there and it can sometimes help to clean the contacts. Same thing with the hook switch. If it's coming on intermittently and not staying lit, you might want to try and clean contacts. Here's a quick look at rotary dial, princess phone, and it has the nightlight mode on. Here's nightlight mode off. And here's my interphone, princess phone. This one has a pull turn key and multi-line function. And if you wanna get creative and make your own LED circuit, I did that for my call director. I actually made a custom speaker phone compatible princess phone type dial and I just used uh, some blue three millimeter LEDs inside with a capacitor to make a slightly dim fade out effect instead of just straight on and off. This is also compatible with my speaker phone that it activates the colorized glowing dial. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, I'm happy to help you try and restore your vintage phones. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check out the other videos on my channel.